All right, thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter at Anthony Smoke or check me out uh, at anthonysmoke.com. So today we're back in Tableau talking Benford's Law or the First Digit Law. Uh, it's an observation about the frequency distribution of leading digits in sets of numerical data. So uh, in naturally occurring collections of numbers, your leading digit is likely to be small. So if your data obeys the law, you're going to find that the number one appears as the leading digit about 30% of the time. All the way down to uh, the number nine as the leading digit, that's going to occur less than 5% of the time. So why does Benford's law matter, right? So think about it. When fraudsters are, are fabricating data, they may not know to create their fake data. Data, um, in a manner that conforms to Benford's law. And you can run this analysis to detect fake data or at least uh, raise some doubt about its authenticity. So enough of my uh, Khan Academy impersonation here. Shout out to Khan Academy for a uh, uh, great site, great site for learning everything. Let's get started here in uh, Tableau. I'm going to be using default Tableau Superstore data. So the first thing you do here, you're going to create a calculated field. And I already have it uh, calculated here. Uh, we'll show you the formula. We're going to call this leftmost integer. So we're going to be looking at sales. Change sales to a string. Take the leftmost integer. I'm going to say OK. And we're going to drag that to, uh, to rows here. Well, actually, I'm going to drag it to columns, right? And in this data, I know that 0 only occurs uh, for about 9 records or so. It's, and, and Benford's Law doesn't, doesn't look at zeros um, in, in the analysis. So I'm just going to get rid of the zeros here, right? That'll give us uh, 1 through 9. And I'll take a number of records here, bring that up to rows. And we want to change this to a quick table calc. Uh, percent of total. So what do we have so far? In this data set, I can see that the number one as the leftmost integer occurs 30.87% uh, of the time all the way down to nine uh, as the leading digit 4.38% of the time. And so that's great and all that, but how does Benford's law uh, apply here? So we're going to create a measure for Benford's law. Again, I have that pre-calculated. You're going to go up to analysis. You're going to create a calculated field. And let's like take a look at uh, what I already have. Just copy this formula. Benford's already done the math for you, so you don't have to uh, double check it. Just go ahead and copy this formula. All right. Say OK. Now we've got a Benford's law measure. Let's bring that up to detail. And I don't want to sum it. I just want the uh, the minimum at this point, right? So now we have that there for uh, for us to use. And I'm going to go to the analytics tab here. We're going to pull a distribution band. I'm going to bring that over to cell. And I want to change this not from 60, 80. I want to change it from uh, 280, 100, and 120. And that's going to be against the minimum of Benford's law. We'll keep the uh, keep the average there, and we will say, well, yeah, we'll, we'll say okay there. And as far as coloring, what I can do, you can say fill below. I don't like uh, fill below; it makes it look uh, a little busy there. But what that allows me to do is just change the uh, the colors. So I'm just going to change this to blue, and uncheck the fill below. So that leaves. Uh, our distribution bands with some color there. I'm going to say OK. Now, here, let's let's do this. Let's fit this to the entire view. Uh, now, if you take a look, you see I've got these bands. 120% uh, of Benford's law is 36.12%. And actually, I can go in here. Let's format this uh, real quick. In the pane, I want to change that to a percentage to how does that look? Yeah, 36.12%. Right at Benford's Law is 30.1%. And 24.08 is 80%. So looking at the data, you, you'll see we've got our Benford's Law is 30.10. Uh, and our actual uh, distribution of the data is 30.87. So what you can do at this point to just kind of highlight, I like to highlight the difference uh, between the two. Uh, we can create a calculated field here. We're going to go back to our data. Uh, I'm actually going to create a calculated field. And we're going to drag in, um, uh, we're going to call this the percent difference of uh, Benford's law. I'm just going to copy this in here. 
right? Now, if we take uh, from our rows here and, and drag that in, right? And we subtract out Benford's law, right? Say, okay, we have a percent difference uh, in Benford's law. Now, I'm gonna put that on the label, right? And obviously we have to, we gotta format this guy a little bit here. We change this to a percentage, yeah, 0.77%. And I like to put it in the, um, uh, we can go in here, uh, make this a little little bigger here. Let's go 12, say uh, okay. Uh, with the alignment, we can change this. Let's put this on the actual bars. And as you can see, this is the difference, right? This is the spread almost between our distribution and uh, Benford's law. So our leading digit of one is going to be 0.77% uh, percent higher than where Benford's law says uh, we should be. So that's actually pretty good, right? Looking at this data, we can see that we're not far off from where Benford's law should be. Uh, you know, if you just want to mix it up, you could pull in, I could pull in a category here and throw that on the uh, rows. And, you know, for furniture, office supplies, technology, I can take a look at the different distributions here and say, oh, you know, we're not that far off. So, you know, most likely this data is for real. So in any event, this has been uh, Benford's Law. Uh, go ahead, take this uh, tip, get out there, do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.